My I-130 is being sent back for possible revocation. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. Sending the I-130 back for possible revocation, that is not good. That does not mean that your case is in good shape. You were hoping that the State Department was going to go ahead and issue your spouse an immigrant visa, but that's not what's going to happen. And the biggest problem of all related to this is the delay, because when the State Department says, well, we're going to send it back for possible revocation, it can take a year, a year and a half for the embassy to actually get the file back to the NVC and back to USCIS for possible revocation. So why does this happen? Well, you know, at every stage of the process, everybody has the ability to inquire into whether or not they believe the marriage. So if your spouse or family member shows up at their interview at the embassy and the officer, for whatever reason, doesn't believe the relationship, they can ask USCIS to revisit to possibly revoke or cancel the prior I-130 approval. Now, the dirty little secret is the vast majority of I-130s that are sent back from the State Department to USCIS for possible revocation are reaffirmed. They're upheld. USCIS says, yeah, we hear what you're saying, State Department, but we still believe this is a valid marriage. What this thing really is about is delay. The State Department thinks, well, we don't want to give this guy a visa right away or we don't want to give this lady a visa, so we're just going to send it back to USCIS. That can buy us a year, year and a half of not letting this person into the United States. And they are in the business of not letting people into the United States. So this is just one trick, like the DS-5535, in their bag of tricks that allows them to act like they're doing something, but really not take action on a visa. So USCIS, the agency that's supposed to determine whether or not the relationship between the petitioner and the beneficiary is valid, that's their authority. The State Department can't override that, but they can ask USCIS to revisit it and to cancel it if they think that what the State Department says about the marriage is valid. So that's the real problem. If your spouse does such a poor job at the interview, if they can't explain the relationship, or if the State Department thinks that either party was not free to marry, then they can send it back. So that in and of itself is a bad thing. Just the act of sending it back, that's going to set you back a year, a year and a half. Nothing fast happens when USCIS sends a application back for possible revocation. Like I said, you're talking six, seven, nine, 12 months to get it from Cairo or Casablanca or Islamabad to the National Visa Center, back to USCIS. Then USCIS will send you a request for evidence and said, hey, the State Department says they don't really believe this marriage. We need to send it back. We need, to, we need more evidence from you and we need to decide whether or not this marriage is valid. And we're not going to do that unless you overcome whatever problems we think there are with your marriage. And so we want to see updated marriage evidence. We want to know why your spouse screwed up so badly at the interview. We want to know that for sure you're both free to marry. So this is your opportunity, in a way, to reprove the marriage. Not that you want to be messing around with this, but that's what you have to do. If the USCIS gets that possible revocation notice, and sends you a notice of intent to revoke, then you're going to have to send them lots more evidence to reprove the marriage, even though you already did. And so that can take two or three months at USCIS. Then you're talking another six months for it to make its way back to the embassy. So it's a huge hassle. It's a big problem. If you receive a notice of intent to revoke, at that point, if you don't already have a lawyer, you probably want to get one. So don't be messing around with this on your own. Otherwise, you might lose out on the opportunity to get that visa at all. So if you would like our help with the Notice of Intent to Revoke or making your I-130 case stronger, feel free to give us a call, 314-961-8200. Email us, info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. If you're just looking for free information, totally cool, no problem. We have lots of resources for you. One of those would be our TikTok channel, at Immigration Hacking. So follow me there. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whenever I make a new video, if you turn on the alert button, you'll get notified whenever we go uh, issuing a new video or whenever I go live on our Immigration Answer Show. That's a show that I do three or four times a week. You can come on and ask me whatever immigration question you want. We can have a nice chat about your situation and we can talk about your options. Finally, that show appears not only on YouTube but also on our Facebook channel, which is called Immigrant Home. We'd love to have you join our Facebook group. 
Um, it's a free group with thousands and thousands of members, people talking about the immigration process every day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.